Do you ever wonder how it's possible to print on dark or colored t-shirts? After all, if you draw with a colored pencil on a black cardboard, you would not see anything. As you may correctly guess, the secret is the white ink that is used in direct to garment printing. In today's video, we are going to have a closer look at the underbase and how to generate it. Afterwards, I will talk about two ways on how to enhance the underbase. One, if you are a printer and you want to save some money. And two, if you are a designer and you want to create better t-shirts. Wait, save money and make your prints look better. I would say this is a win-win situation, so make sure to stick around until the end of this video. Hi everyone, this is Everson with uh, DTG Merch, where we talk about everything you need to know to run a successful t-shirt business. We often post tutorials and other helpful content about topics like t-shirt design, print on demand and direct garment printing. So make sure to hit the subscribe button and like this video. Last week, we release a video where we explain why you need transparent background when printing a t-shirt with a DTG printer, which is the method of choice used by most of the print-on-demand platforms like uh, Merch by Amazon or Spreadshirt. Today, we are going to have a closer look behind the color layer and see what's actually happening in the background. How does the white on the base work and actually why do you need it? Like we already mentioned, if you would try to draw with a colored pencil on a dark cardboard, you would not see very much. The same happens with the CMYK inks. If you would print with CMYK inks on a black t-shirt, you would not see very much from the design. That's why CMYK printing usually uses white or very light backgrounds. The secret here is the white ink that creates the so-called white underbase. So when you print the colors on top, you are actually able to see them. Obviously, the whiter the underbase, the more vibrant your colors will look. For example, if you print on a gray paper, colors will look muted. However, if you print on a white paper, the colors will be much more vibrant. Same goes for a t-shirt. Let's uh, have a look at a little example. Let me just change my t-shirt. As you can see, I'm now wearing a t-shirt with a white on the base. This is how it would look like before the color layer is applied. It looks like this for all colored and dark and black t-shirts. Now, let's apply the color layer. As you can see, the colors have been applied on top of the white layer. In this example, everything is covered by CMYK. You do not see anything of the white on the base anymore, but you can feel it. The print gets more thicker, the more white layers you print on. Now, wait a little for me to switch back to my normal DTG Merch logo t-shirt. But uh, on second thought, this design is actually not so bad and uh, it's uh, secret advertising for the t-shirt design tutorials we are creating in this channel, so I'll keep wearing it. Well, okay, let's continue. And continue with a question that we receive a lot, especially from many designers, some of them just starting with DTG printing. Do I have to create the white on the base when I'm making my designs? The answer is no. In uh, direct to garment printing, it will be automatically generated by the RIP software. This is the software that automatically translates your design into a printable file and sends it to the printer. That means when you create a design for print on demand, for example, the white on the base will be automatically created by the printer at the supplier. There is nothing you really need to do as a designer. Other question, when do I not need white on the base? Well, you will not need the white ink when you are obviously printing over white t-shirts 
or on the light colored like pastel colors garments. And now, since you are still here with us, I bet you are very curious to know how you can save money and create better designs at the same time. Our tip for the printers is that it's possible to create a gradient on the base. You don't actually need to create a solid layer of white ink to get your print uh, very nice on. You just need, in theory, to have uh, white ink under the lighter parts of your design. And you also you can invest in a good RIP software that will automatically create a gradient underbase for your designs. On the other hand, many print-on-demand platform print either solid underbase or underbase that will not give you the best result just because they can. They sell lots and lots of t-shirts so people are happy and they just do it. I have one example here. On this black t-shirt, the white ink is printed underneath the black ink, which makes no sense. You are printing black on black. You can manually knock out the black and turn them into transparent and make this print not even look better, but less shiny with a better hand feel and cheaper. Did you like this video? So, you may also like the other videos linked on the cards. Thanks for watching, all the best to you and see you in the next video.